right past me. <laughs> oh. What? Morning from the Star Racing Camp. No, oh, that's weird. That's a weird voice for Finley. <sighs> hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> sorry, buddy. <laughs> All right, I'll do it myself. What's going on, guys? We're here at the track. Casey brought his kid, so you know, just one more person competing for camera time. Um, but yesterday was the race for Riley, so Dad was out here. Um, we got mom playing <laughs> distraction for uh, but dad dad did really well at that and then today we finally got a, a sunny day of racing um, so we're just hoping for some more good results plus we got our good luck charm here in Finley um, if you know any other single four months olds four month olds <laughs> we'll go as high as eight months because cougars kind of run in the family so um, but let me know what you got out there finding him a, a partner <laughs> It is a glorious morning here at Newcastle Motorsports Park. Taking my morning walk down here to see what's going on at the track. We've had uh, one practice for me. The boys have had two. And things seem to be going pretty well. Got into traffic, so I have no idea about my lap times. But uh, kind of like the way the cart felt. We'll see how that works as the day goes on. It's going to be a hot one. I think they're talking about a high near 90. So, uh, but we've got crystal clear blue skies and a uh, good group of people are in the pits around us. We're having some fun. My grandson's here. We got it all going today. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can put some good results up on the track too. It's been a good day so far. We've been showing, we've been fairly racy. I mean, I don't think there's no, there's no real thoughts of us being, you know, the top guys out there, but we're in that, that mix, at least in the, the upper echelon so we'll see got two more practices to go though tighten everything up okay we all know i like to make predictions and i'm always wrong but this time i am very confident casey is not going to be happy with his card he is slower than pond water he's gotten passed by a lot of people and he just keeps dropping back Almost looks like he might be dragging something. He just doesn't get off corners well at all. But we'll see. And it actually doesn't look like Ben's doing a whole lot better. That was a frustrating practice. Just couldn't get it down. Ben, for you? What? How was practice? That was fine. I mean, I, I, my front feels a lot better, but my rear end is sliding more than I thought it would. Um, so I want to change that, but I felt fine. <laughs> So the best stall of all has joined us today. We got yes. Finley. Hi, Finley. Hi, Finley. Sam busy. Uh oh. Keep going. <laughs> Gets mesmerized by cameras. So, Dad, as you get older, you know how there's like milestones and you can kind of check off. And they're not good milestones. Well, so I've realized there's two for me recently. Uh, one is I sleep with Tums on my bedside table. Yep. And the second one is I have to wear a hat or otherwise my scalp burns. I'm 31 years old. This is bull <laughs> No. Oh, it only goes downhill from there, Kate. Oh, gosh. Those are the easy ones. I know. 
I mean, I'm still sleeping through the night. You know, I had to get up in the middle of the night yet. I don't do that. <laughs> you know the good news about Donnie's uh, not doing the Mother's Day race. It's good news for me because most weekends I'm the third best stall driver. On Mother's Day weekend, I'm the fourth best. So I don't have to take the demotion this week. <laughs> so got done with qualifying. A little disappointing. Um, qualified, I think, 15th out of 25 and had a little bit more in the cart. Um, got just in a in a little bit of traffic that just held me up just in the slightest. I thought it was going to work out well. thought it was going to be able to draft and uh, and pull in, but just kind of one of those qualifying deals. I wish it had been a little bit better because I think maybe I could have started two or three spots forward. And uh, Casey tells me that this is a track you can pass on. I think he's trying to build me up, but uh, he says you have to be a jerk to be able to pass. And I suppose it depends on who you ask whether I'm good at being a jerk or not. So we'll see. Um, cart's, cart's a little bit faster, so I think we can move up. But uh, there's a lot of parity out there too, so we'll see. So Casey and I went out for a couple qualifying efforts, and we did fairly well. I, th I think it was about what we expected. Um, there was some chaos in our in the CIK race that we do. There's some chaos in the third lap, so most people's third lap got thrown away. Um, there was a cart backwards on the track. It's pretty scary stuff, but luckily um, everybody was all right. And uh, Casey wound up, I think, seventh, and I was tenth. So you know, solid runs. Not obviously where we'd like to be. We'd like to be in that top five crew. Um, but we're still just figuring out. It's been first time it's been hot out. Not obviously everybody's dealing with that, but we're um, just having a little bit tougher time figuring things out. And then we went to our sportsman class, um, and it was a good run. Uh, we had we've got some buddies in it, and so we we wanted to be one, two, three, and four. I think we were one, two, four, and five. Um, so we were all right in that top five. Uh, Casey was two. I was the fifth person there. You know, you go out there, you lead the group. You really you. You're really half a tenth slower than these guys, but because they have the draft, they you know they're able to get you, and so it is what it is. You know, I think we all know who the strongest cart out there was and the strongest driver, but he's starting in the fifth spot. Uh, but one of our buddies, Matt, he he got the pull and he earned it. And then another friend of ours, Robert, he's he qualified fourth in CIK. So big days for for friends of the stall racing family. We just got to dial it in ourselves. Any thoughts, Casey? The once again our uh, camera shield got broken we're suspecting maddie yeah news to follow but uh yeah so it probably have a little spider web effect sorry ongoing investigation <laughs> it's so hot out it is hot and the track has so much grip i was cramping up after three laps actually no my second lap so i was cramp cramping up after two laps but we all know casey's pretty soft but i'm very soft uh the the feature races are 12 laps that could be bad news for me. Man, it's just a nice day. Like, look at how beautiful it finally is. It's been so wet and so rainy for so long, and we finally get a nice day. Now, it is very hot, but I don't mind I'll that one it. bit. Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> I'd rather burn a little bit than just soaking wet like I have been. Hey, did you crack the screen? It's not the screen, it's the thing. The but did you thing? do that? Was that you? I think, I think was remember it when it was dangling? Was over there? Yeah. yeah. Listen, there was only one of me and oh, yeah. two of you both asking for your cart things. No, quit, it's fine. Quit jacking around, Manny. Those are supposed to be, like, you've run over it we'll, with your we'll go bill you. and it's We'll bill fine. you. So in my race, it was, it was really just a pretty standard okay. race. I uh, started 15th. Kept it on the track the whole time and made uh, three or four passes, had a good race.
this track was interesting. It seemed like um, it was just really difficult to run out front, and I wasn't very good at it. And um, uh, I guess I had a couple of cars right on my tail, and I saw actually one of them uh, get by me in the hairpin and kind of over under him and uh, was able to hold him off the rest of the way. But it was it was a good race. It was a fun race. Um, just uh, no complaints. It was a fun weekend all in all. Man, this is some old man sled right here. <laughs> Looks like we got a vintage cart for sale. That's really bizarre. Uh, a little bit looser than I like, but <laughs> neat, neat little cart there for sure. All right, so first race is done, CIK. You got bugs eating me up. Uh, first race is done with the CIK, and um, I don't know, went, went all right. I think I'm dealing with some sort of an acceleration problem. Uh, you'll see at the beginning of the video, it's two weeks in a row where I've just gotten dusted um, at the start, even though I'm going flat out. Dealing with that, I don't really notice it much at all during the race, um, but I just kind of was doing my own thing during the race. Kind of, um, I was in a group, but I was I was leader of that group, and we just kind of all pushed for a while. So I just kind of zoned out, and then I got past uh, I think two to go or something like that. And I just was patient and got him back uh, on the on the final straight, thanks to a push from our buddy Robert. it was good it was man my steering is just so heavy today from some of the changes I made um, it does feel it feels fine but it's just it works you a little bit more so uh, 12 more laps is gonna be a little difficult but um, we'll get it done bring it home for you guys so my first race of the day is over thank goodness I forgot to press record so no race footage but all you would see is me going backwards and me off track I think it was three times I was helped off track, but my cart was just awful. I mean, it was it was hopping more than the Easter Bunny. I mean, it was just terrible. It was so tight. I, all I did was go backwards and just hold people up. So I made some changes to the cart for this next race. And uh, it can't be any worse. That's the plus side. Uh, I widened my rear by uh, a total of an inch. So it's a pretty drastic change, but the cart was just that bad. I'm hopeful that that change is what I need and uh, I can compete in this next race where I start second and, and I'm leading the championship. So this one, this one means a lot to me. I gotta do well in it. And so we just finished up our second and last race of the day. That was quite a battle. That was, uh, that was probably the most intense race of the year. It's um, pretty crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, I started second, you started fifth. And um, I led for the first couple laps. Uh, just my cart, I can't get it, I can't get it working today in this heat. I've really got to work on that. Uh, the guy in second passed me and I had nothing for him. He just pulled away. Ben was in third, made a move on me in a corner that, that was tough. Um, so we went through the next corner uh, too wide. I ended up shoving him off track, hated that. So he fell back a few positions. 
I stayed in second and uh, before I knew it, I looked back and Ben's back on my bumper. He got around me. So coming into the last two laps, I was still in third. Uh, we got a gift from the guy in first. He uh, kind of missed the first corner and uh, put Ben into first. I moved up to second. And it came down to a uh, uh, last lap, last straightaway drag race. And I heard it was, uh, I won by like 21,000. I mean, that's, that's nothing. I got first place. Um, that's the race from my viewpoint. And let's hear Benji's. So, uh, just the race, you know, I think we had a good start. My lineup surprised Matt on his first pole. Congratulations, Matt. Um, did a great job leading us down. Then it came to, it was Robert in first, Casey in second, and I was in third. I was feeling pretty strong. I felt like I had the card to beat today. And so um, I knowingly put Casey in a tough spot and we've talked about it. And it's, it was a racing incident, but I gave him the choice of essentially giving me the position or shoving me off track. And you know, he wanted to defend his position. I don't have any arguments with that. It sucked that I got put off track, um, but it definitely motivated me. You know, I'm fighting against the draft now, four guys in front of me, and I uh, was able to catch back up to them after a few laps. It was Robert first, Casey and I uh, a little ways back in second and third, probably three lengths. And uh, I got Casey to let me buy him and then we were able to catch up to Robert. Uh, Robert, I think, got a wheel in the grass turning into the first turn, so he like flew off. Well, it screwed me up a little bit, so it's, I slowed down because I was trying not to, like, I don't know, just the startling of it. And I had a decent lead, and then of course that draft that they have, just I'm sitting duck up there in first, and ultimately the blame comes down to myself. I could have taken away that bottom lane completely, and I should have. I don't know why I didn't. I, I, I don't know if it was a pride thing that I didn't want to, you know, be defensive. I wanted to win just by going straight. But um, anyway, Casey snuck right on the inside and he made it fit exactly the right size. He spooked me actually whenever I saw him because I, I couldn't hear anybody or anything. Normally I can hear that stuff. You know, I, I couldn't hear him and then he spooked me and I actually drove right into him. It was probably a defense mechanism also because I wanted to win. Um, but he ended up beating me by, like uh, you said, like 21 thousandths. Again, I think I was the guy to beat. I was the fast guy, but in case he played the smartest race, and that shows because he didn't have the fastest car today. He just wasn't that there on the setup, but he made the moves that needed to be made, including shoving his brother off track. He can't sleep tonight, you know. He's got my number, but it was it was as disappointing as it is, and it's gonna be tough to swallow because that was my race to win. That was Robert. Robert was in a similar spot. It was our race to, to lose, really, and we both found a way to blow it. And you know, congratulations, Casey. He. he, he I mean, he deserved it, I guess. I like to think that I earned it, but um, that was a good run. And at, at least, you know, at least I know I, I felt like maybe Robert and I had everybody covered and it would have been a duel, oh, but. They had me covered for sure. Yep, I was gonna fight for third. Yeah. We were on 70. Just about a car length and a half now. They had onto the front straight away one That's last fun. time. Okay, Ben, keep it. Hold it, no, no, no. No! No! Oh, yes! It's gonna be mad! It has to be! <laughs> what?! <laughs> Yay! He took it from him! 
race weekend kind of a rough one when your boys you kind of dream about it right when they're side by side coming down for the finish it's a little uh, a little rough when they both can't win I guess so that was uh, that was an interesting moment here today couldn't have been any closer all right guys uh, I think this week we learned a lot about you know each of us I think we learned dad's not quite done he's got a lot left in the tank um, we learned that Ben is, is becoming quite a factor on the track and we're learning that Casey's not afraid to do some cheap things to make sure Ben gets silenced. Um, all in all, that was a great week. We got a, a first, second, and third, and I swear we didn't plan that. It just worked out that way. Uh, but we got first, second, and third in a, a couple races. Um, but it was, it was a good time, and then we're off for a few weeks. We wish everybody, of course, a happy 4th of July, and then we'll be back here. I think our next race is a doubleheader, is that right? So we'll have uh, an extra long, probably a 40 minute video for you guys at that time. But uh, till then, take care, like, share, and subscribe, guys. <laughs>